Friends, we are here to show you how to use the infamous decentralized exchange known as PancakeSwap on the popular BNB chain. In this video, we will show you how to swap, provide liquidity and utilize all of the popular features that PancakeSwap has to offer. Nonetheless, nothing in this video is financial advice. We are not financial advisors. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose. Use a burner wallet for extra security and always conduct your own research. Before we begin, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to support our channel and stay up to date with the latest crypto guides, reviews, news, technical analysis, and so much more. Friends, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so to begin with, we are officially on the PancakeSwap website, which is pancakeswap.finance. We've got the official X page, which is at PancakeSwap. Give them a follow and turn on the notification bells to stay up to date with everything regarding their decentralized exchange. Now, this is a multi-chain decentralized exchange that spans across many popular networks, including Ethereum, the BNB chain, Polygon ZKEVM, ZK Sync Era, Arbitrum One, Linear, Base, OP, BNB, and Aptos. Now, guys, this is one of the largest decentralized exchanges in the entirety of crypto, and people are using PancakeSwap day in and day out. Therefore, we are here to show you how to utilize this platform in order to swap, provide liquidity, bridge, and do whatever you would like to do within the PancakeSwap platform. However, my friends, the most popular feature that most people are looking to use on this platform is the swapping feature, which enables you to swap between different tokens on whichever network you are looking to swap on. And the most popular network of which PancakeSwap actually derives from is the BNB chain. This was the first network of which it launched on, and it is the most popular network of which it is used. PancakeSwap is the leading decentralized exchange on the BNB chain of which is home to Dogecoin and many popular cryptocurrencies. You can use PancakeSwap to swap between practically any network on the BNB chain and pretty much any token across all the networks that it's compatible on. It has a lot of liquidity guys, it has a lot of users and this is potentially one of the best exchanges out there in the entirety of crypto. However, why don't we very simply show you how to utilize PancakeSwap? And the first thing that we're going to do is get started with our EVM wallet. Now you're going to need to choose one of which is compatible with this platform and any of the networks that you are using. And therefore I'm going to be using MetaMask, which is my most popular wallet that I like to use. In this video, my friends, we are going to be primarily using the BNB chain. However, if you want to swap or provide liquidity on any of the other available networks, as you can see in the top right corner, then you can very simply replicate anything that I'm doing across any of these networks. My friends, this is just a tutorial. This is just a guide. Nothing I do or say in this video is financial advice. And therefore, you must conduct your own research before you do a single thing. So, as you know, we are on the BNB chain and we can see that we've got that selected. Now, in our MetaMask wallet, you can see the current tokens in my BNB chain wallet, of which I have BNB, Dogecoin, Floki, Inge, and so on. So, friends, let's begin to show you how to swap. So the token up top is the token you are going to be selling, aka at the moment we've got BNB selected. Down below is the token that you want to buy into, and therefore it's going to be the two section. So right now we've got it selected as cake, but if you were to choose where it says cake, as you can see my friends, you can pretty much choose any token within the Binance Smart Chain Network, of which if you had a token in mind, you'd be able to very simply pick one and just select it as so. As you can see, we could now swap BNB into USDT. But let's just say, for example, you found an external token. If, for example, you knew that you wanted to get your hands on a cryptocurrency, but you didn't find it on the PancakeSwap DEX, let's just say you found yourself a contract address. As you can see here, we've got the contract address for the Dogecoin, which we know is going to be on PancakeSwap, but let's just say you had a contract address that you wanted to swap into on the BNB chain. You would go over to the two section and you would very simply click paste. And as you can see, your token would appear. Now, let's just say, as an example, we swapped BNB tokens into Doge. All you would do is, my friends, simply enter an amount of BNB tokens that you want to swap into Doge or whichever cryptocurrency that you're trying to swap into. Let's just say we perform this swap. You can see the exact route of which is going to take place. You're going to see the amount of fees taking place, the amount of slippage, which is adjustable, the price impact, the trading fee, and so on. So once you are ready, you would very simply click swap. Up next, it would ask you whether or not you're ready to confirm the swap, of which if you are happy, you click confirm swap. Now, in the top right corner, you can see a pop-up from your wallet, of which ours is MetaMask, and we just need to confirm it if we are happy with it. So, as you can see, the transaction has been submitted, and if you haven't got Doge added to your wallet, if you want to add it into your tokens, of which you will see on this list here, all you need to do is click add Doge to wallet, and it will add it into your MetaMask or whichever wallet you are using. However, 
Friends, that is very simply how to swap tokens. And let's just say you wanted to now sell your tokens. You can either A, do it manually and select Doge up top or whichever token you are selling. B, you could very simply click this reverse button of which you would see up top. We've got Doge tokens that we want to sell and we can very simply now choose a token we wanted to sell into. Now, for example, friends, you could sell all of your Doge tokens back into BNB or you could very simply choose the BNB token or choose whichever token that you would want to sell into. Now, let's just say, for example, we did choose to sell into BNB, which is the native token of the network. We can very simply either choose the entire amount of Dogecoin to sell back into BNB, or we could sell any amount. It's entirely up to you. Let's just say you wanted to sell the entire amount, my friends. You would click max, you would click swap, you would click confirm swap. And very simply, as you can see, you would go through the process of swapping your tokens back into BNB. Now, friends, this is just very simply a tutorial, and I'm not telling you to do this whatsoever. It's only if this is, of course, what you are looking to do. But friends, we've shown you exactly how to buy and sell tokens on the PancakeSwap decentralized exchange, which will now enable you to transact freely on your own because you know exactly how to swap. So that is very simply the trading feature. Now, there are a couple features that you can utilize in this trading section, such as TWAP and Limit, which are investment strategies that you can utilize on this platform. However, friends, moving on to the next section, we have earn and earn is the part where you'll be able to earn from different liquidity pools and farms and even staking within the pancake swap decks now up the top as you can see we've got farm and liquidity and down below my friends you'll be able to see all the associated pools with the farms and liquidity pools now obviously if you have a pool in mind then you will very simply choose the one you are looking for and you can even narrow it down by the tokens you are looking to provide liquidity for if, for example, you are looking to provide liquidity for the BNB token, you could toggle BNB and you will find all the associated pools with it. However, looking at all these pools, my friends, you can see the associated TVL, of which is the amount that is being deposited into the pool. The larger the TVL, the less volatility, the less the TVL, the higher the volatility. So please, guys, bear in mind that even with liquidity pools, there are extreme amounts of risks and you must conduct your own research before investing a single cent. So guys, let's just say, for example, we pick out any liquidity pool that we wanted to provide liquidity for. If, for example, I narrow it down by the top TVLs associated with these guys, you can see the APR. So practically how much you will earn from each pool. Now, on the left hand side, you could see the associated token. So cake to BNB will earn us a delicious 8.39% with the farm and the LP. We've got USDT to BNB, USDC to USDT. It's entirely up to you guys. You'll want to take a look at the TVL, the volume associated with it, the token pairs. And of course, check out all the price ranges before you invest a single cent. But guys, we're just here to pick an example. And let's just say we wanted to choose the native cake token of the PancakeSwap DEX alongside the native token of the BNB chain, BNB. Up the top, this is the top pool with the highest TVL of $58.9 million. If we were to choose this, my friends, we are now going to need to get ourselves some cake tokens. And here, you can see down below, my friends, the associated TVL, the volume, the liquidity within it, and everything that you need to know. You can see all the transactions that have taken place within this pool as well. So very simply, once you are ready to get started and you are happy to participate in this liquidity pool, you would very simply go to add liquidity. Now, we can confirm that we don't have any cake tokens, but we do have BNB tokens. But in order to participate in this pool, we're going to need to have both BNB and cake. Now, you can actually change the wrapped BNB over up the top to the normal BNB token, of which is exactly what I want to do. However, we do need to get our hands on the cake token, and therefore we need to go back over to the trade section. So if we go to swap, here, my friends, we now need to swap our BNB tokens into Cake. Obviously, if this is the pool that you want to provide liquidity for. Up top, I'm going to very simply choose an amount. Let's just say I did 0.005, which is roughly $3.50, and I'm going to get 1.6 Cake tokens. I'm going to swap into the Cake tokens. Once I've got the Cake tokens, I can then go back over to the pool, which as you can see, I've now got Cake. I can go back over to Earn. If we now go back over to the pool that we're looking for, as you can see, it's this Cake one up top. We now want to click add liquidity. We now want to go over here and we now want to change the wrapped BNB token to BNB, obviously, if that's the one you are doing. Down below that, you can choose the fee tier of which you would like to pick. If you do the 0.25%, this is what 93% of users have chosen. If you did the 0.05%, which is less fees, you would do the 7%, 0% for 0.01% or even 1% tier. It's entirely up to you. But Let's just say now we are ready to provide liquidity. As you can see, my friends, down below, we want to choose the amount. 
And what I'm going to very simply do is toggle the maximum amount in my cake section. And why is this? Because it's going to automatically average out the amount of tokens that I need in the BNB section, of which you can see I've got an equal amount. And now, all you need to do is, my friends, very simply enable both tokens. As you can see, we can now click Add and click Add Liquidity. And very simply, we have now deposited into the pool. Therefore, my friends, for those who don't know what is going to happen from here, well, now that we have deposited our tokens into the Cake and BNB pool, what this is going to do is this is going to earn us an APR of 13% of the amount that we've deposited. And how a liquidity pool works in a nutshell for those who are new, basically anyone swapping between these two tokens, Cake and BNB, we are going to earn a percentage of the fees and those fees are going to be earned as rewards for us. Now, in my personal opinion, guys, liquidity pools are a beautiful way to earn passive income, but please bear in mind that there are some serious risks involved, including in permanent loss, all of which you should become associated with. Now, guys, please do your own research before you invest a single cent. And then for those who are looking to farm their liquidity pool tokens to earn extra yield on top of their liquidity pool tokens, you're going to need to also do your research on farming. But for those who do want to farm, under the liquidity pool section of my pools, you can see our cake to BNB LP. Now, if, for example, we wanted to earn more yield, like I said, by farming our tokens, we can actually stake our LP tokens to earn more rewards. Now, guys, as you can see, it's going to ask us to stake in our MetaMask wallet, of which if we click confirm, this will obviously enable us to earn more rewards on top of our rewards. But guys, there are seriously more risks on top of the liquidity pools of which we are now farming. So as you can see, my friends, we have now staked our tokens. And for those who are ready to unstake at any time, you would click unstake. And then after you've unstaked, you are going to have to then withdraw your LP tokens. However, once you are ready, guys, you can come on here and you can very simply see the amount of tokens that you've generated. At the moment, we haven't generated any fees because it has literally just been deposited. But over time, we'll see ourselves get some BNB and cake tokens from this beautiful liquidity pool and farm that we have now staked. My friends, that is very simply how to utilize the liquidity pools and farming section of the PancakeSwap DEX. Up next, my friends, we have got cake staking. And for those who want to stake their cake tokens, which is the native token of the DEX, you can enjoy the benefits of the weekly cake yield, revenue share, gouges voting, farm yield boosting, and participating in IFOs, and so much more. So depending on how much you do stake will depend on how much you will earn. Down below, you can see the APR of 25.24%. The only problem with this, my friends, Friends, is that you will have to lock up your tokens for a minimum of one week and a maximum of four years. So it depends, guys. It is entirely up to you if you wanted to do this process. You know how to get cake tokens. If you wanted to stake your cake tokens, you would come on here. And as you could see, my friends, you would be able to lock up your tokens and gain access to other utilities. But my friends, that is not what we are going to do in this video, as this is not something that most people are going to be taking part of. But if you are an avid pancake swap user, this may be a nice feature for you. So moving on to the next, my friends, we have got the bridge. And I'm not going to exactly use this bridge, but I just wanted to show you that you can move assets to and from different networks. Now, pancake swap is powered by layer zero. And layer zero is an airdrop tutorial that we've covered on our YouTube channel for those who don't know. And if you are interested in airdrop tutorials, then you can check out our YouTube playlist of crypto airdrops. However, on here, my friends, you are able to move assets from a wide range of different networks, including Ethereum, the BNB chain, ZK Sync, Arbitrum One, Linear, Base, OP BNB, Polygon ZK EVM, and I'm sure many more soon to come. So very simply, guys, you can choose an asset down below, whether that's Ethereum, whether that's Cake, USDT, USDC, it is entirely up to you. You can shift assets to and from different networks. This is going to be a very handy feature, especially if you are looking to swap on any of the multi-chain networks that PancakeSwap is available on. Absolutely fantastic. If, for example, you wanted to play some games, guys, PancakeSwap has got their very own game section now, of which you can play all on their decentralized exchange. However, my friends, that is very simply the PancakeSwap decks in a nutshell. If you've enjoyed it, we would really appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe button because it really shows support on our channel and we are looking to grow to 100,000 subscribers. Friends, we appreciate every single one of you who does tune into our videos and smashes that like and subscribe button. We really are grateful for you and I really do wake up with a smile every single day making videos for you all. We are here five times a week at the minimum, sometimes even six. So friends, turn that notification bell on because we have so much more content coming your way from reviews, tutorials, technical analysis, airdrop guides, you name it, we have got it all under the ACT hub. 
Friends, we can't wait to see you in the next video.